Hello, uh, thank you for watching. If you could subscribe or leave a like or leave a comment, I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you very much for watching. So here's our Mark II Vicon uh, 400 spinner. So 400 because of 400 capacity. Um, probably didn't have extension at all to start off with. There's, um, this is a locally made extension and out of um, fiberglass then. This is just the same sort of thing as the proper factory one, but um, the 600s had we, had we then. So fit uh, 600 kilos then. So um, it has an uh, extra frame here to strengthen it up and as this little bracket then. The 400s and I think 500s had only four holes here. Definitely 400 anyway. It's had a bit of a uh, sign there put to strengthen it up. And these side blades were only three holes. It's where the size is broken and... So, um, this locally made top, it actually has a, um, a lid for it as well, out of fiberglass. So if it's raining, you can actually put a lid on it and it stops the rain going into fertilizer. Quite good, isn't it? It's a shame it didn't make in factory. Only, I'll show you the damage now. So, the holes here have pulled through then. Uh, same about three holes here. Only shame about this, uh, it has all the nice uh, digital stickers on it. So this is a Mark II, uh, Mark I's had a steel um, hopper on them. So this is probably quite an early Mark II then. But it has this to advertise, advertise it uh, something extra, uh, different then. Little warning sticker down there as well. Whatever it is. Let's see the bike on. So we call these uh, wagtail then, because these, these go back and forth like that, and they sound like um, like a pill bottle being shaken, like that. Shame is broken anyway. See it's pulled through the holes there, and um, it's been patched up uh, before then. Only thing, this is a 400 hopper as has um, extension added to it, so it wasn't actually made to take the weight then. So, but... We've actually bought something as sale then, and I'll show you now. So we've bought this at the sale. You can see the front plate there is much bigger, round one, a lot of bolts holding it, a lot more area. The side plates, we have more holes too, so the old one finishes here, only three holes. This is five holes and bigger plate, so we can hold more weight. Only the extension top is quite small. We made three models, this 400, 500 and 600. This is a 600 bottom and with a stronger steel, uh, but the top's probably like a 500 uh, smaller extension. In. I think a 400 didn't have an extension at all, so it went up in capacity then. It'll be a shame to um, transfer this off and lose these nice stickers anyway. <laughs> a real shame anyway. But um, we might see, we might be able to just take the steel work off of one and put on this, but this has been repaired quite a bit of frontier from there, so I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see how it pans out then. Quite nice to keep this for the sticker, so I'm, I'm not sure, but the hopper is cheap enough anyway for the steelwork anyway. So there's not much money uh, in it. <laughs> I've uh, given a good um, bit of waste, waste oil there down in the tray where these like to rot out, you know. Well, do only. Um, Plastic coating and on the new ones, and the bottom bit is stainless, but this is uh, the steel, and so these rot out. You can see it's been patched up here, but um, as I was saying, the stickers are <laughs> shame to lose those. So um, we use this on the old tractor, and it goes on the uh, sort of steeper places, and because, well, we feel that uh, because it's more, you know, it's more cone shape, you know, it's more, uh, the sides are more steep, and it'll feed down straighter and instead of going to one side and sort of make a tractor sort of want to lean over new ones are a wider and longer um hopper and but a bit more flat then so um i feel them they, they stay a bit more one side or over on the slope and so it feels a bit safer using this old one this is probably brand new one of farm then so i've always remembered it like this and Exactly like this, you know, the steelwork at the front to hold this up, extra hopper up as well, you know. We basically added this because this was too weakly and we've tried to patch over that. 
but it's been um, fine as I remember it anyway. Just it's gone now. It's pulled those um, bolts out through the five glass. But if we fit the other ones with five holes, it would actually, you know, um, cover more area as well. So not sure really. At the same sale, when I actually bought myself this uh, GCB bucket, is the the um, bottom and the back is pretty rotten. You see holes there. So uh, I was after rotten one to a sale to um, or worn out. But chop the steel floor out and chop it right up to bracket and put ribs in this so we're going to actually use it to um, riddle through uh, um, you know soil take stones out or um, some shales a bit dirty can riddle a bit of you know shake it to get the excess soil out of it so this will be project um, someone's made this extra sort of side in front of it uh, only two bolts only on so we'll take this off and chuck it as crap really <laughs> it's quite a bit of hodgepodge then see different blades and etc only a couple of bolts and it'll come off it's not actually GCB, it has this anvil on it, so it must be some of our make then. So brackets come up here and so we'll chop it off right up to brackets there. So plenty of area and it's three foot wide, so it's the widest one for the most area then basically. So it should do a good job and good teeth on it as well. Okay, that's it from me for now then.